एवरीवन आई एम सुरभि वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टुडे बिकॉज आई एम बैक विद थ्री न्यू बुक्स फ्रॉम आर पर्सनल कनेक्शन व्हिच आई गॉट रिसेंटली मींस लाइक फोर टू फाइव मंथ्स बैक एंड वी आर इन लव विद देम एंड यू नो मी वेन आई फाइंड सम बुक्स रियली रियली अमेजिंग आई हैव टू शो यू आई हैव टू शेयर विद यू एंड जस्ट जस्ट books are my sweet spot so i am going to show you three books which i got recently uh, some projects we did with them and uh, i'll show you inside of those books so that you can decide you want or not want but books so that's what i'm going to talk about today so uh, these books are uh, engineering books as such you know uh, so we never had any project specific or like you know engineering or stem books ever we have a uh, you know all subject wise or biology or you no know, those kind of books topic specific books uh, some way to curriculum and all but these kind of books i never had uh, but i was on the lookout you know something like that because just i am not naturally that kind of person uh, construction or uh, engineering or stem i i'm not naturally that kind of person so in a way i was looking for help like how do we do these activities actually with kids and also uh, whatever i do i always try to get books uh, so that my kids can see and inspire themselves through it it's not like me doing the activities with them all the time i want them to browse the books and see what activity they would like to do or they can do by themselves or seek help from me so that's why i always wanted some stem or engineering kind of books in my library just to inspire my kids but uh, you know sometimes things are very tricky sometimes things get very electrical and those kind of thing which do not as such uh, inspire or like my kids are not courageous enough as now ki ha circuit dekhen they'll make it no they are not that confident so i did not know what kind of things but yeah i got these ones and i'm in love with them so i got three books which are uh, two are dk books so i'll show you the first one is how to be an engineer so if you don't know our families of engineers me my husband my brother my bhabhi my father and other lot of engineers in our family but the way this talks about engineering it's not the engineering i am but yeah still is engineering and i love the way uh, i mean like basic engineering electrical engineering uh, civil engineering a uh, lot of things i mean i I'll, i'll show you inside so this is what i got dk a uh, second dk i found out a uh, find out engineering okay and third one i got awesome engineering activities for kids so uh, first thing is you don't need to get all the three books because uh, they are very similar uh, i'll show you inside but i got it uh, because um i am that like when it i go to books i just get little crazy but uh, i'll tell you what are the good point of which book and then you know you don't need to buy all of them but still there are some very specific point for these books which made me buy them so let's start with the first book how to be an engineer so dk has the full series of how to be engineer how to be a uh, designer how to be a coder lot of series is there um so i browse to all of we have a bookstore here so i browse to all of them uh this one is what i really found interesting because all these activities are hands on they all are easy to do because the material which they are showing is all like normal craft stuff we have at home like toilet rolls or something like that so uh i browse the activities and i found that these one can be done by me or with my kids if they want to do it by themselves so that was one of the main reason so i'll show you inside so uh, if you say how to be engineering so engineering is different kind it's not only computer engineering like right? there electrical engineering uh, civil engineering and uh, so they talk about first materials so we have wood plastic sand things so they have shown uh basically constructing things with different kind of material they are building stuff with wood they are building stuff with soil like mud kind of thing they are building stuff with plastic they are building stuff with cardboard so you know uh, so basically they are doing engineering uh, creating stuff using different materials but all these materials are like easy to get so like first one they are showing mud bricks uh, we have not done this experiment but i'm showing like they have created mud bricks and uh, they are very very basic but like that then they because they talk about that how do you make walls so first they have shown a project full detail how to make it and then they have like why we are doing this project where it is related to the real life you know why we are learning to make mud bricks because old little mud bricks then these but uh, now then they were making these walls are made by uh, sugar but then later on they are telling that you know uh, aise bricks hoti thi and that kind of stuff so that is one then they are showing with the rubber bands some kind of 
कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक रबर बैंड स्ट्रेच अगेन टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटीरियल की मड कैसी होती है कार्डबोर्ड या रबर बैंड हाउ हाउ डिसन सो लाइक बिकॉज रबर बैंड कैन स्ट्रेच इट कैन कंप्रेस सो वट कैन ऑफ थिंग्स वी डू देन दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रेंथ लाइक हाउ डू यू मेक सम स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रॉन्ग so they have taken toilet rolls in which they put some are empty some have popcorn some have stones some have salt and then they ask you to test the strength that which do you think is the strongest why because then they talk about like in the bridges what kind of beams do we give you know and then how do you decide that it will be left hollow or it will be filled up all those kind of things is talk about then it talks about basically goes to the material of iron then there is rusting how can you do some basic uh, experiments and you know uh, just uh, what is rust again talking about materials and in between they talk about these kind of things so uh, it's an astronaut she's a girl and they tell about her stories so these kind of small small uh, uh, you know inspiring things for me they are inspiring that they read about someone uh, someone great uh, engineer kind of thing or someone like who motivational person and the kids can browse it oh he who was she oh she was a girl in nasa and what did she do what was all this just one page the uh, it's not at overwhelming it's like uh, you can read it you can read it aloud or a child if uh, reads can read it very easily so that way it's very much age appropriate engineering book uh, again i am saying that because i never read these books in my childhood though we are a family of engineers so that's why i love these books when my kids can really understand how broad engineering thing is you know so that's what i am biased but then they start to plastic then they tell you how to make a plastic again it's a project so how can you and again all the materials are at home okay how do you make plastic then again they're talking about a lady uh, she's again a uh, one who dealt with plastic created stuff with plastic what she do with the plastic and like that they go to the cardboards and they do experiment with it and all these are very easy you know uh, i would not say all are worth doing in a way i mean like i did not feel but still and then this is a gum drop then they move to structures actually so this is what was my topic what main projects were it was structures that first they talk about material you can make structure with mud you can structure with plastic you can make structure with stones or cardboards then they actually talk about making structures they have make towers how do you make a tower what kind of a uh, triangle or uh, square or what kind of things they talk about all these things and in between they talk about again these are the small small things they given in each page and then uh what i use this book like last projects we do was bridges uh this talks about bridges in under the structure section in very detail uh what all kind of bridges we have cable stayed bascule suspension beam arch and then with the cardboards they made an arch bridge everything is actually very simple i'm telling you it's like anybody can do it then you can make with the straws you can make structures so all building things and then again one of the famous architects so uh, all those kind of things i mean every experiment is like what uh, like uh, it can be done very easily and uh, some are like worth doing and i'll show you what projects we did so uh, my father is a bridge engineer and whole my childhood i have heard so much about bridges i did not understand much you know trust me uh, but yeah i have you know heard about bridges so much uh, my dad will go to inspection of bridges and i'll be just like watching ki ye ban kaise raha hai i i never had understanding or not even visualization but now when i read about it i feel like so proud of my father like wow civil engineering so hard but yeah so here so when it came to bridges um I, again at a emotional angle to it and uh, so this talks about how to make a suspension bridge what is suspension bridge step by step you know it shows everything so we followed it and uh, then it talks about the famous suspension bridges and so like that those are the bridges one so this was the bridges stop we did and we made this bridge ourselves on oh, this one but yeah this bridge we made completely inspired from this book cardboard one uh some are our editions but yeah this is a completely hands on project we did just looking at this uh book and then uh we had uh this was like a chinese uh from chinese uh they said i ordered these ones and this is a diy but again a suspension bridge and we talked about it that you know what is suspension bridge in himachal we have few suspension bridges in singapore we have few suspension bridges we visited those bridges and you know why this is built like this all all about bridges whatever i could 
make them understand uh, in their language or in their understanding so yeah so that is what I did with uh, bridges suspension bridges from this book uh, then it a second time it goes to making machines again it makes different kind of machines using very hands-on stuff liver you know I, I just can go on and on about it then it goes to you know uh, uh, technology you make phones the paper cup phones that also be made and just talking that why the line has to be straight uh, computers like it touches every single topic of science of engineering all the fields of engineering and I mean yeah this is worth it we we really loved it personally me I really loved it because the instructions were very clear and I could just follow it and make everything so that is one thing this is one book second book so this was the favorite of my kids because my kids did many projects just looking at it that simple this book is because um, again if you see this has a lot of technical details uh, but this one is like very very basic things because it is for kids made especially for kids and you can see the kind of bridges and you know kind of material they have used is much more colorful and much more easier than the other one you know there is a difference just in the size you see a child will pick up this much easily because it is more child friendly that way you can say but yeah it all it has some projects which are very very simple which we have done um, just like casually beforehand but some are like like making this uh, spoon thing we made a pizza box solar oven that we have done actually before I got the book uh, like everything is and it has many many activities so it does see how many I think it is uh, come on this is so many activities so at least 80 percent of the activities which we can do which I would love to do and things are done like simple uh, we had done this before like how I taught my kids weighing scale heavier and lighter with a hanger we made so it is very very inspirational book and uh, we did which all we did this bridge this is again a suspension bridge is much more simpler so we did that also and then this card structures using the cards you make towers and towers so like this so these all we used to do as kids remember but um, never I could I don't have a patience to show to my kids how to make it so we never did it with kids but when my younger one saw this and she said can we do it we have playing cards I said go ahead do it I don't have patience they she really tried for like three four days and finally she could make like seven to eight uh, like car tower and it was amazing and she's so proud of it herself and uh, again this was the so purpose of getting a book that my kids get self inspired making the stuff so like this is a rubber band guitar again these activities are very much easily available in internet but for kids who are screen free especially mine they don't have the source of inspiration or source of ideas because they don't uh, get screen that easily so this book became an inspiration for her to try so many things like this bridge if you see we made also made a bridge like that so there was a lot of discussions around it why we are making only triangles and it talks about but it doesn't talk about much technical details but uh, so in other book engineer book we have why do you make triangle why the strongest structure why square is not strongest and uh, you know then we tested with different weighing things that um, how much weight a triangle shape can take and over this bridge we put like 10 20 books and it could take a take the weight so a lot of discussions happen when you do these hands-on projects uh, lots of basic concept of physics are being tested without saying it is physics but you talk about like in the seed visually you know so much things happening and then you know this thing also we made I mean these projects were so simple we just made it and give it away <laughs> like threw it away like this just making a maze so this was a very self-inspiring book for my kids they just pick up and see what they can make uh, so yeah we made this one again things are very simple here uh, but uh, you can get like if you do google like you know 50 steam projects for, uh, stem projects for kids you will get these ideas but uh, again my reason is that i want my kids to get inspired naturally uh, looking at the books and do things by themselves rather than you know me only bringing stuff out and you know telling them let's do this because uh, the projects here are uh, really use any uh, dangerous things you know like making a car tower or making a tower of um, this one cups or making a maze with the pipe cleaner and tape so it doesn't even need my supervision they don't need my permission or I have to be worried about things they're just playing outside they just pick it up and start making and I am not worried 
in a way you know so yeah that which is very much child inspiring book that i can say and the third one which i want to show is dk engineering um this is a good book but it's a technically uh difficult book for kids um too much reading uh, less pictures you know enough pictures the book size is comparatively small i don't know but you know for my hand the book is small so it's not very attractive to read but yes when i was doing the bridge project or anything like that i could pick up a topic from here and tell my daughter okay can you read it uh, and then talk about because the technical stuff is very good here which is not in much detail in these ones so uh, not my child will pick up herself to read it or nor would it does it tell you hands on projects it's more of a fact book so if you have some other uh, fact book like you know that kind of book you don't need this book but yeah i do not have any any fact book like uh, it talks about you know what are the underground structures what kind of bridges do we have then uh, space so basically it touches all kind of engineering branches we have or uh, and um, just touches and tells details and facts and information about them so like we, we read about bridges when we were doing the bridges project it shows all the major uh, bridges and uh, details where are they located why they are like that so it was like more information you can see but uh, personally if i would have been a kid i would not have liked it that's all i can say but as a parent i like it because i can just give it to my daughter and say can you read it and then we'll discuss it out so you know that way it is a helping material but otherwise it's not very much loved in this house as of now maybe when they are older they can i could not find the page so whatever so i can tell you this is the review for this book uh, that it's good to have but not not very good to have but yes other two books we are love with them so before i close i'll just show you the other projects we made so i already showed two bridges which we made and then uh, this was a uh, a third kind of bridge uh where it's a hydraulic one you can just you know like that it opens when you and then it closes so this is a diy kit uh, that we made but you can do it with a cardboard also uh because uh, once i saw my kids were so interested in building bridges we tried three or four kind of bridges diy bridges not everything in the book but you know you can google in those kind of thing but again i'll say that these books or these small ideas spark the interest in the kids so uh, that way you need these kind of books around you in the house just for kids to look at and you know get inspired so that's why i wanted to share three books with you and hope you enjoy them and thank you for watching bye bye